This is Martin Stewart for The Listening Planet. Find us on the web at thelisteningplanet.com to find that bird or animal sound you're looking for. Twenty to thirty years ago, I could record sounds with minimal interference from man and his noisy self. And today, with over 7.9 billion people on the planet, we're making an awful din. It's nearly impossible to get away from planes, cars, leaf blowers, motorbikes. Where I now live in Florida, there are over 10,000 planes that use flight paths and over 24,000 planes in any 15-hour given day across the United States. Most of my recordings in the last 25 years are polluted by man-made noises in some way, but in the last 15 years, it's steadily gotten worse. I could never imagine there would be the need for software to filter out these sounds back then, but oh boy, do I need it now. Welcome to Isotope RX. I'm going to show you how to take away planes and other man-made noises from my recordings. But just a note, what I'm about to show you isn't easy in all recordings. This recording is of a white crown sparrow. You can see the frequency is fortunately higher than the plane that encroaches the recording. So down here is all plane noise. Up here is the bird sound. A lot of birds sing and call in higher frequencies than our racket, making it easier to filter out. But some other birds like doves and pigeons can call in the frequencies that occupy man-made noises. To filter out these unwanted sounds, we need to be in spectral view. A normal wave file just shows us nothing but a wave. Spectral view shows us all the frequencies in the soundscape. Time runs from left to right, and at the right hand side, frequency goes from 0 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The bird singing starts around 2 kilohertz upwards to 7 kilohertz, and its harmonics go up to 20 kilohertz. Most of the man made noises is from 2 kilohertz down to 50 hertz. We're going to replace that lower band with a recording from a quieter recording I made. This program allows you to capture other ambiences in a module called Ambience Match. If you have a quieter, unpolluted recording, you can make your own presets. The preset I made is called No Noise. When you're replacing the frequencies we're going to take care of today, you have to basically make sure that the amplitude is relevant to the recording, otherwise you lose that natural feel of the environment. You can play around with these settings, but I generally use static and play around with the gain, making sure also that out output ambience is checked. Again, it depends on the strength of the sounds that you want to replace. I think these fainter sounds are that of an American Robin. And this most definitely is the White Crown Sparrow. By clicking the Frequency Select button, it allows me to check just isolated places on this recording. It's definitely American Robin. We certainly don't want to destroy that. Now I'll take the lasso tool and paint around those frequencies I told you from 2000 downwards, making sure I don't go into the recordings that I'm trying to preserve going down below the robin underneath the white crown sparrow and you can see below where I'm drawing is polluted noises from a plane so I'm drawing as far up as I possibly can making sure I'm well within the frequency of being safe. As I said, 
the man-made noises in this recording are below 2000 kilohertz. I'll leave it to about there because the rest of it is me screaming at a plane. Now if I just bring this all the way down and connect the loop. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with this gain here, plus 3.9 um, decibels. If I render this, remember to check the output ambience only. When I render, boom, plane is gone. Let's play that. I think you'll agree that is far, far better than the original. We'll go back to the original. Let's go to after. Before. Let's listen to these noisier parts here. You can hear how frustrated I was at the time. Fucking traffic. Fucking never ends. Well, it does end now with Isotope RX. This is version 10. And now, as I said, it's not that easy with every recording and a lot more time can be spent painting out unwanted noises. I've done some very complicated work involving various frequencies at the back of my recordings. If I'm requested, I'll do one for you at a later time. I hope this helps in some way. I'll leave the isotope link below. But in the meantime, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel and click the bell. And thanks for stopping by. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram by typing The Listening Planet. This is Martin Stewart saying thanks for listening.